Hi and welcome to Market Conversations. Just want to do a quick video on NEO. Well, NEO is not having a great day today. It is currently down almost over 5%. There could be still people selling for tax harvesting. So this stock went from a high of 29.50 all the way to a low of 27.52. But before I continue, just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. So I do want to share this with you guys if you aren't aware when is the last day to tax harvest? So I spoke to TD and Scott A said, depends on what your position is. For a long stock, you have until 1231 to close. For short stock, it needs to be closed by end of the day today. 1229 to count for 2021 taxes. With options, long options, you can close on 1231 to count for 2021. With short options, you need to buy to close by the end of the day tomorrow to count for 2021. Keep that in mind if... You have spread positions because if you close a spread on Friday, the long leg close would count for 2021, but the short leg, if closed on Friday, wouldn't count for 2021. It would be on 2022. So this is good information if you are planning to continue to tax harvest or if you have and if you guys to are holding on to neo please give me a thumbs up i am trying to reach my goal of making one dollar a day on youtube so let's help each other out it's been a tough year for many chinese investors so neo today was down over four percent even after all this good news from neo day the stock is still trending lower let's take a quick look at a one year chart so back earlier this year they had neo day and the stock actually ran up all the way to a high of 66.99 but this time around the stock actually went down it tried to break this trend line here this red trend line it was 42.50 couldn't break it and now we are around 27.50 strong support right now back from 12.20 it bounced off and 12.17 it bounced off so if this support cannot hold, it can go a lot lower, which is what I'm afraid of because this stock was only $2 last year, back in April of 2020. And then we do see a gap here. This is a gap from 20 to 23. And usually what tends to happen when there's gaps, it needs to be filled. So if you are holding a large position in NEO and you're afraid that there's going to be more downside, what you can do is hedge your portfolio by either buying puts or by buying some put debit spread. It can cost you a lot of money if this continues to go down. And especially if you're on margin, and it continues to go down and you never know you might have to sell your shares at a lower stock price than if you had hedged your portfolio properly so we'll take a quick look at some of these puts here let's just go to 20 may so these puts are actually very inexpensive the 25 strike they're only going for 300 dollars which isn't bad and if you want you can buy a put debit spread so what you're going to do you're going to buy the 25 strike and sell the 20 strike make a max profit at 343 i know 343 is not a lot of money but if this stock continues to go down that every penny will help a lot you know neo was trading above 50 not too long ago i know a lot of people holding above 50 i actually have a high cost average. look at some of the news this was from december 28th and it says neo reaches 30,000 units of vehicle deliveries in shanghai. shanghai is one of the most supportive of new energy vehicles among china's top tier cities and local residents can get free license plates directly for buying such vehicles by comparison, Beijing has strict purchase restrictions for EVs and local residents often have to wait years to obtain a license plate. 
Neo sees Shanghai as one of its most important markets and currently has four Neo houses in the city, with the fifth one set to open on December 30th. To date, the company has 65 battery swap stations in Shanghai, accounting for about 9% of its total 753 stations. Neo also has 69 supercharging stations, 24 destination charging stations, and access to 32,135 third party charging piles in Shanghai. Two years and four months later, its deliveries in Shanghai reached 10,000 units on October 23rd, 2020. This is all good news. We have breaking news, breaking news. Analyst says battery swap stations won't put financial strain on NEO. It's a good sign. Goldman Sachs raises NEO rating to buy bullish on ET7's potential. We have all this good news, but the stock is not reflecting it. That's okay. Well, Chinese sentiment is negative right now. What I suggest is if you're planning to go in to NEO, just dollar cost average because we don't know where the bottom is. It's like Alibaba. People thought 150 was a bottom, 130, even 120, and now it's trading almost at 110. So just be careful out there, guys.